the indications and tally of time. Perfect sanity shows the master among philosophes. Time, always without break, indicates itself in parts. What always indicates the poet is the crowd of the pleasant company of singers and their words. The words of the singers are the hours or minutes of the light or dark, but the words of the maker of poems are the general light and dark. The maker of poems settles justice, reality, immortality, his insight and power encircle things and the human race. He is the glory and extract thus far of things and of the human race. The singers do not beget, only the poet begets. The singers are welcomed, understood, appear often enough, but rare has the day been, likewise the spot of the birth of the maker of poems, the answerer. Not every century nor every five centuries has contained such a day for all its names. The singers of successive hours of centuries may have ostensible names, but the name of each of them is one of the singers. The name of each is eye singer, ear singer, head singer, sweet singer, night singer, parlor singer, love singer, weird singer, or something else. All this time, and at all times, wait the words of true poems. The words of true poems do not merely please. The true poets are not followers of beauty, but the august masters of beauty. The greatness of sons is the exuding of the greatness of mothers and fathers. The words of true poems are the tuft and final applause of science. Divine instinct, breadth of vision, the law of reason, health, rudeness of body, withdrawnness, gaiety, suntan, air sweetness, such are some of the words of poems.